Um, <clears throat> we will start, <coughs> even though we, we missed some recording yesterday, we will start from uh, towards the bottom of page Kul Base. Uh, six lines from the bottom. The line starts on the word of Kumei, Kamish Vodorishen. Excuse me. <coughs> Mishpot, we said, Mishpot means judgment, and judgment entails a, a, a an internal understanding of what is what is taking place. Step by step. <coughs> this is called Oipnimi. The principle of the, the term Oipnimi means an oir that imbues itself internally into the cave. It really is a phenomenal thing if you if we reflect on it. <coughs> it's almost like keen if we were to say that you shine a light into a room and this light becomes internalized in this room and the room stays becomes a, a, a lit up, on, on, so to speak, on its own. Not actively lit up by the light, but it has, it internalizes this light. This is a kind of an <coughs> in your face, so to speak, expl- explanation of what it means, oipanimi. But clearly it isn't possible. Don't well, understand that such a thing is not is not it's not realistic at all. Because oil cannot be grasped by anything. It's to- totally intangible to the point when to say that it's intangible is completely is is, is insignificant. There's nothing to t- to, t- to to touch. This is, even in physical air, we talk about air the key, the shama air, as we illustrate this with the example of the, of the person in his home. Not almost, almost miraculously. Not almost, but actually miraculously, because this is this is a divine gift that he can own a home, and the minute he steps into this home, his presence spreads through the other entire home. Not in a second, but in a timeless manner, at all completely. This oil. <clears throat> ultimately has an element called oipnimi. Oipnimi means it can be imbued, imbues itself into kalim. And now we'll learn inside and we'll get a little bit of an opportunity to, to dig into it a bit. The line starts from Kamishpa Dami or Isha, Kumei Kamishpa or Isha. Shateira, okay, we have it towards the end of the line. Shateira hi bechina sepni. Because Teira is called Mishpot, because it is the bechina of Epnimi. Even though this is Teira, a divine Teira, but it has, it, it, it is that bechina of Epnimi. It is meant <coughs> to be 
to to imbue itself into the cave, into the world. The Raiso Mechoch Monafkos. As as it says, the Raiso Mechoch Monafkos. The Torah came forth or comes forth from Chochma. Chochma, uh, just as in the human being, Chochma is one of the Koiches Pnimiyim, in contrast to Koiches Makifim or Rotsen and Oinig. Chochma is a Koich Pnimi. One criterion that we have identified, that's on a very simple level, Oyo Pnimi, or Koyach Pnimi, Chochma is present when, when you engage in Chochma. Chochma does not, is not present unless you pay attention to it. Not like Rots and Anoinek, which are, are present at all times. You cannot turn off Rots you cannot turn off Choyach But you could Turn away from Chochmah. Like we said, the motion of Chochmah of sight. Sight is, an ex- is, is, is a very good example for Chochmah, but, but it has to be properly understood. Because sight exists when you see something, you see it totally without any effort, effortlessly. You see it because it is, it is there to be seen. It's not an experience of sight. You cannot help but see it. But you can turn away and not see it. Or close your eyes. This fact that you can close your eyes and not see it this gives sight an element of koyach pnimi. Koyach pnimi means you you experience, you know what it means to see. Like fish do not have the capacity of closing their eyes. They all know what it means to see. By a human being, this is a koyach pnimi. Koyach pnimi means it's, it's an active koyach of, of, of a phenomenal category of, I should say, it's effortless, and yet you're aware of its significance. And you don't take it for granted. That which you see has significance to you. Do you begin to understand and try to discern what it is that you see? This is called the And the phenomenal thing, as we pointed out, that an oir an nefesh, such as chokhm, or sight, for that matter, becomes imbued in, a, in, a, in an air, in a, in a keli. And it is so correct, so 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 deeply imbued, so united with the Kaili, that it is correct to say that the eye sees, but the eye does not see. The eye sees because in the eye there is a koyachariya and the koyachachma. But the eye is so suitable for this koyach that it is not incorrect to say the eye sees. This is the meaning of Koyach Pnimi. And as I said, it's a phenomenal union that the oir can become oir Pnimi. Let us step back a moment and, 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 form, form, and point to, to, to the oddity of this to the phenomenal reality of this. Because oir 
there's always an emanation from its source. Like light emanates from its, from its source. And it's constantly refreshed from its source. At the same time, this oyer, there is an element in oyer that's called oyer pnimi. And it becomes part and parcel of the keli. And now we ask ourselves a question, how is it possible? The oil is not a mitzvah unto itself. It is the mitzvah by the by by presenting its source. So how can it become a mitzvah of a part of the keli? And the answer to this, and this is I'd like me to understand. The answer to this is that this is called that's why it's called oil pnimi. In its inception, in its source, in its in the nefesh itself, it's an oipnimi. It it it, it 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 seeks to become imbued in the keli from its inception, not after it touches the keli. This is Nibshad Chok. The the. Uh the the, uh, the answer or the word about why light would um, get dressed in the keli is because at its inception it would it desires that yeah it is it what's is that? designed yeah it's designed for that, that what's that telling us at inception the light seeks to become imbued in the keli what, what's that telling what's that mean okay What it means is that, yes, indeed, the nefesh is infinitely superior to the goof. And the nefesh and world are, are odd partners. The nefesh does not need the world to give it an abode, to give it a place to be. The nefesh is godly. Yet, the nefesh is a divine emanation, divine creation that has a divine purpose, task. The nefesh comes down into the goof with a, with a mission. The mission is that it should be imbued into the goof and it should affect the goof and, and actually perform and process things in the world. Thus, this mission, which is, a, which is a divinely ordained mission, becomes imbued into nefesh, and the nefesh can be identified via this via this this mission. Even though the nefesh is still constantly being refreshed from from, from above, but it has a pnimi element. Like we see that the nefesh is mislabish in the goof, little literally mislabish in the goof. In sensing everything that's going on in the goof, the altar explains in Tanya, and and uh, bring the goof to life. Compare the nefesh relationship with the, with the goof and light relationship with, 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 with the room, with the world. <clears throat> light and the room always remain two separate entities. <clears throat> Except there's light in the room. The nefesh and the goof become so united that the goof comes to life. Witness, but how is that to reflect, reflect in, in a practical term? Very simply. The nefesh keeps the goof afresh, alive. 
not to do for the nefesh goof would, would run away. The food and all and uh, anything you can do, give it give it a mikveh every day. It's not going to keep the goof fresh. It'll disintegrate in no time. The nefesh keeps it alive at the nefesh level. Yeah, we, we are saying that's a muscle for Orbekeli in general, right? I think generally it'd be premium if it's rubbish. Yeah, just like the nefesh gets imbued in a goof, so too whenever there's any or pnimi, it's it's the, akin the, to this, something like this. The, yes, there is a certain or pnimi means that it that the oil it relate to the keli. Right, which was in distinction to what you said a moment ago that life in the room, it's on, it's off, it doesn't really imbue the room. That's right. It's not pnimi, it doesn't become part of the room. Like I demonstrated this, 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 this story. This, uh, if you hold this up in the air for a thousand years, will it then acquire that that principle, that spirit, that then it should stay here on its own? No way. But the soul and the body for a lifetime will have an impact so this and the body and the body, the body is alive it affects the body the body does not run away because of this presence of the soul it keeps fresh and it's refreshed every day in the morning this is called oipnimi and this 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 Pnimi that we spoke about, this is on a very high level. But also in Koichos there is such thing. He said, Oiraisa me Chochmo Navkos. Chochmo is a Koich Pnimi. There is Koichos Makifin and there is Koich Pnimi. Koich Pnimi, he said, there is Chochmo. Chochmo. In contrast to Rotten and Noinuk, if I may. Rotten and Noinuk are also koichis, which we are conscious of. Rotten and Noinuk, as we are conscious of them, they remain the property of the nefesh. Chochma becomes the property of the of the of the koyach of the of the goof. You know what Chochma? What does Chochma tell you? Chochma tells you think about the world. Yeah, about the world. Yeah, because it's bright, and you know, I said sight is an example for Chochm. I thought it's only an example because it's a clear channel, and Chochm tells you not about the world but about truth. No, wait, 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 wait. It, it tells about truth and, and the truth of the world, the in, in truth in, 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 a, in, a, in a context. Mm. Just like sight. Mm. It's also truth. In contrast to Rotten and Noinek, which is not in a context. <clears throat> and this is the phenomenal thing. <clears throat> that Mishpot is called Torah and Torah and this Mishpot element which is which is Oipnimi this has such profound effect 
to the point where you can, where through it you can reach to the to to the Rusha de Lib of the heart, and you can to this you can reach to the to the Tzion in the Nefesh. Through the process of, of opening me. <coughs> one, one more time. The Mishpat is called Torah, and through it you can reach a Rusa Deliba. Right. And this this fitted what with what we were saying a moment earlier because Mishpat alludes to or Pnimi. Right. You can bring out the Rusa Deliba. On the on the on the bottom, so to speak, in in the in the keli, and also you can reach in and recognize the tzion in the nefesh, which is above keli completely, the truth of the nefesh. I want to add something in, okay? A little bit daring, but I want to do that. As I pointed out, oil pnimi, oil pnimi is an anomaly. Does make me make any sense? It cannot be naturally explained from a worldly perspective. How then that does, does this actually take place? And what is the meaning you have oil pnimi? Like we said, you, the nefesh touches the goof and the goof lives. As a result of this life, it is fresh for, uh, for 70, 120 years. Where without the nefesh in a day, it would it would it disintegrate. The goof in every aspect of the goof, the whole the, the, the goof is a, is a living entity because of the presence of the nefesh. What makes this possible? This is what we're saying that through, as a result of opening me, you can reach to the Madrid of what's called the Rusa de Liba and to Tzion. Tzion, we said, we discussed it, we learned it. Tzion means it is not really a presence in the world. Tzion is a marker on the godly realm, in the godly realm. In other words, Tzion is a marker that, that attests to the godly presence. And if there's a godly presence, then, then everything is afresh all the time.
the phenomenon of koya oil pnimi is an attestation to this to this tzir, to this godly truth. Do I have you so far with me? I have one more step. Okay. They keeping the goof afresh and alive for 70, 80, 120 years is as miraculous as the creation of the world itself. It is a godly phenomenon. It does not get old, it does not get tired. Like the, the marshal in, in, at our level is like a melech. A melech, the presence of the melech brings everything in his environment up to standing erect, to standing steadfast in a full in full strength. This Indian that the nefesh is mislabish in the roof or a koiches oil oil pnimi is mislabish in the pnimi is in a in a in a keili is tantamount to a divine command. There's no natural process, natural experience occurring there. There's no way to explain the natural way. So, e- e- earlier we said that the reason this occurs is, is on account of the original intention. And we're kind of revisiting that now and no, saying... No, 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 we have to revisit. This intent is a divine gift, yeah, a divine command. Outside yeah. of nature, outside of process. Totally. Uh-huh. That was, this was the daring part. This was the daring part that's getting added here. Right. And this is why this oipnimi, the oipnimi, at the bottom, and the top is the tzi and shemanefesh. What's the at the bottom, at the top. The bottom is where the, the opening is mislavish in the goof. And its inception, it's a tzion. Oh, tzion per se is another word for neshama. The neshama, the, the, the truth of neshama, the godly nekudah of, of neshama. The tzion, which means it's like we say, it's a, it's a symbol for God, for the godly presence. A marker. All right, let's continue. <laughs> I had to I had to say this sooner or later. And this is what my eyes in the Chochmo Nafkos. The Chochmo means that <coughs> it is Oipnimi. It's an amazing thing. This is the lowest thing that there is, Oipnimi. But it's rooted in the highest. Why? This is the lowest thing there is because it's touching goof. Yeah, it unites itself with the goof. Okay, we run four lines, four lines from the four, five lines from the bottom. The line begins with Afkov. That explains what it says in Yerushalmi. 
He went through the entire set of mikra of Tzeresh Abiksav. Leimotzinu, and we do not find any place Yisroel Nikoim Tzien. That Yisroel should be called Tzien. We don't find any place. Elo b'mokim hazeh. This, in this one exclusive moment, Yisroel are called Tzien. No other place in the, in the whole Torah are Yisroel called Tzien. What is this? Mokim hazeh. I put my words in your mouth. With the shade of my hand, I covered you. To say to Tzien, Amiot, you are my nation. These aspects that are given to, to Tzien in this, Torah va'aveda gnos chasod. This uh, this identifies Torah and Aveda Gnos Chasod. Shari Deizeh Heim Yibchinus Si, because Ali Deizeh by the effect of Torah Aveda Gnos Chasodim Heim Yidin Abuchinus Si have a Si on Bechin. They actually bring this pointer of the godly pointer right here into the into, into, into the world. Now we can we conclude the whole discussion. Thus this is what the Posik says Tsin will be redeemed with Mishpot. Vishaveha means They are, they are, um, Shavuah means, it's, it's, um, uh, uh, prisoners, um, captives. Shavuah B'tzib in its captives will be returned with Zdoka. The Koyi, what are the captives of the Tzil? Koyi, which refers to Amaram. Nefesh, Ruach, Nishom. What is Nefesh, Ruach, Nishom? Shehein ha-koyach ha-spinimi. Mishad de koyach ha-spinimi. The Bozeh were in this level of Naran. Yochei lihiois. Bechinas Golus, Bechinas and Nefesh Abbas. Because it, Naran, Nefesh Ruch and Shoma. This is where the Neshoma is Neslabish in the goof. There it is possible to, that the Neshoma should experience the Nefesh from Golus. Bechinas, Bechinas and Nefesh Abbas. In the Kirchhoff and Nefesh Abbas. Shemiz Gabrim. Golus means, Golus means that it is not its own guide. And it and it and it has so to speak um, authority over it. It's in Golos. Shemiz Gav the Malkei Chazal Nefesh Olikis, but the Koyach Chazal Nefesh Abamis overpower, assume power over the the Koyach Chazal Nefesh Olikis. Umalimi mumastiri malayam, and they conceal, hide off, don't allow the Koyach Chazal Nefesh Olikis to to protrude out to come forth. The Habdia and to redeem these koiches out of the goals, who bids no It is through Tzdok. How do you get the Nefesh and the Kirchhoff and the Nefesh and the Kis out of, of, of its exile, of being, of being captive in the Nefesh Habanis, Kirchhoff and the Nefesh Habanis? It is to Zdok. She said, who, what is...